Hey there, thank you for watching the UCSB Global video tutorial series. In the first video, we showed you how to navigate to the UCSB Global platform through the OSS website. We also showed you how to log in using your UCSB Net ID and password. In this video, we're going to show you how to submit an e-form request to the OISS office through this UCSB Global platform. Once you've logged in, you're going to see a homepage that looks like this. In this example, we're going to pretend that we're an F1 international student named Ole Gaucho. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to this F1 student services link that's on the left-hand side. Now, if I'm in a different visa category, such as J1 student or J1 scholar, you're going to see a very similar link reflecting your visa type. Here, I'm seeing all the services that are currently available to me. In this example, let's pretend that we're looking to get a travel signature on our I-20. I'm going to click on I-20 changes and request e-forms. Here, I'm seeing the different types of e-forms that are nested under this category. Since I'm looking for a travel signature, I'm going to click on I-20 service request. Here is the e-form, and it's great to note that whenever you click on an e-form, it's going to include some helpful policy information and instructions to help you determine whether or not you're in the right e-form. Since I'm looking for a travel signature and it says, please use this form if you need a travel signature, I know that I'm using the correct e-form. It's also giving me some helpful reminders right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on reason for updated I-20 request travel signature. I'm gonna click this confirmation box to let the office know that I've verified my current address and other requirements. Once I'm done, I have two options. The first is save draft and the second is submit. I can click on save draft if I don't feel ready to submit my form quite yet. This could be because maybe I need to go back and check to make sure I fulfilled all the requirements or maybe I have a question to the OISS office first before I want to submit my form. Once I feel confident that all my information is complete and accurate, I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Once you do that, you're going to get an automatic notification from the OSS office letting you know that your I-20 request was properly submitted. In this example, it's letting me know that I've properly submitted my form, and it's also asking me to wait for three business days to allow the office to review and process my request. It's also letting me know that I'm going to receive an automatic notification by email when the request has been approved and processed. So let's say we've waited three business days and an OSS advisor has approved and processed my request. They're going to send me an automatic email notification letting me know that my travel signature is ready. Again, this is just an example, but this is what the email might look like. It's letting me know that my I-20 is ready for pickup because the advisor has approved my request, and it's also including other helpful information. Um, so here, it's good to note that when you receive a confirmation email, it's really important to read the email thoroughly because it's often going to include very helpful instructions that you need to know. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned for other helpful tutorials.